Sir Ivan of GMA Integrated News. Uh, sinasabi po ng PNP itong serya ng mga pag-ataking ito every time ay isolated incident. Yeah. Sa po ba kayo na isolated incident? And also, alarming po ba yeah. sa inyo, especially the brazenness in yes. which this one against Governor Digama was carried out? It, it was shocking. I, I couldn't believe that this, this would still happen. Pinasok ba naman yung sarili niyang bahay? At saka when you see the video, talagang lahat, you know, basta naharap sa kanila, babarili nila, ilan ang pinatay nila, walang ginalaman dun sa sa kanilang gulo ko, nilang away. So, yes. Uh, this one is particularly uh, terrifying and really, um, I don't know. I, 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 this does not belong in our society. <laughs> uh, hindi, na po, hindi na pwede yung mga ganyan. Kaya hindi natin pababayaan. Na so, hanggat, isolated, I'm sorry? Not, not, any, not isolated? Actually, if you think of the three cases, Five, sir, actually. Well, uh, no, the three cases that first right. came, uh, iba iba talaga. Mm -hmm. But then it, they they started to become political. The, the mga yung dalawa yung first two of the three were actually baka hindi political, basa but the other, eto, this is purely political. The Malapakan yung press corps has a Hello. question for you. Yes, one. Oh. One one question. Yeah. Sir, magandang hapon po. Sir Maricel Halili po from TV5. Sir, magkakasunod po yung naging pagpatay sa government officials and the most recent was Governor De Gamo. What are your thoughts on this? Ano po yung direktiba ninyo sa mga law enforcers? Well, uh, actually, ang sin sinabi ko sa ating uh, uh, Secretary Abalos and the uh, PNP uh, is to now make an examination kagaya yung ating ginagawa kapag darating ang eleksyon kung saan ang hotspot sabi ko gawin niyo ulit ngayon ngayon bago well, don't think of the election first but think kung ano yung mga hotspot na mainit na mga lugar at tignan natin ang usual naman talaga na dapat gawin diyan ay uh, hanapin yung illegal firearms basta to walang illegal basta makaka-count yung illegal firearms ko counting ganyan classing crimen uh, yan yung mga private army na ganyan kailangan talaga ng eh, dismantle lahat yan. So, that's what uh, we have asked them to do. Uh, they, um, so far, maganda naman ang uh, nagiging investigasyon. Marami silang nakukuha ang information. Uh, so, uh, mabilis naman ang paghuli sa ating mga suspect. Sa ngayon, meron pa rin tayo in hot pursuit. Kasi meron, basta sinara nila yung area. And they are conducting what is referred to as a dragnet kung saan talaga dahan-dahan kung meron pa ay iniipit sa isang lugar. So that's uh, that's uh, what's what's happening now. Um, again, the the killing of uh, Governor Digamo is uh, entirely unacceptable uh, and it will not stand. It will hindi hindi this 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 cannot be uh, uh, this cannot go unpunished. Sir Pwede mong mag-follow up. Uh, meron lang pong request si Congressman Arnie Teves na baka raw pwede siyang mabigyan ng protection but kasi because of the political angle dun sa pagpatay ko Governor Digamo. Oh, I think uh, every, right now, uh, everybody talagang binibigyan namin ng protection. We don't know, we don't have details yet. Baka meron kung sino man who feels uh, aggrieved or whatever. Na whatever. Eh, Siyempre, mainit ngayon yan. Mainit ang... Uh, the emotions are running high, so I have asked the uh, our our uh, joint. Meron meron tayong joint na ano yung army at saka yung yung police. And between them, uh, I said just keep your presence known, felt para walang walang hindi magkagulo. So far, naman we have not uh, we have not heard of any uh instances or kung meron na babalita na may planong gawin wala naman tayong nababalita ang ganun. Thank you sir. Thank you sir. Okay. We we that's why we we are we are looking and getting all the best intelligence we can from our be, our people on the ground to tell us where are the places we should look out for, we should be looking at uh where do we need more people where do we need more personnel? Um, who are the personalities involved, etc., like all, all of these things. 
So we got a good read on the in, uh, on the intelligence. Thank you, okay. sir. Thank you. Sir, one last question lang daw yung tungkol sa oldest farmer kanina. Yes. What? Hi, sir. Good afternoon. Alan, sir, from PTV. Yeah. Um, you just talked, you just had a talk with the oldest farmer. What have you discussed so far, sir? Tinatanong ko, anong kinakain niya? Kasi I want to live that long also and be that strong when I am his age. Uh, so, no, no, what he was telling me was that nakilala raw niya yung father ko. Uh, and he was saying, that, so ngayon, uh, dalawa na yung nakilala kong Pangulong Marcos. Sabi, so, yan lang naman ang sabi niya. Tapos sabi ko, I asked him, where was he? Uh, how did he meet my father? Kasi mukhang outstanding farmer na siya noon pa. Kaya medyo lumabas na. So, yung panga lumalabas na yung pangalan niya. Pero ngayon, naging oldest farmer pa siya. So, yes, it, it, it was, I could talk to him for a long time. He was very, very interesting, but I'm sure he has stories he could tell. Um, um, but the little time we had, I think we enjoyed, we enjoyed ourselves. Uh, Thank you. Salamat, sir.